Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends. I've been asked this question a lot about what kind of breaker do I have in my panel box and people will say it's a black one. Well, they're all black. So I'm going to give you a heads up on what to look for when you tell somebody what kind of breaker you want or you go to buy one. Okay, this is a Cutler Hamner. This is the uh, commercial brand. It's a really good breaker. This is a two pole 30. Okay, it's two 30 amp circuits on both sides, like to run your water heater, your clothes dryer, <clears throat> or part of your emergency heat or standby heat on your heat pump. Okay, they're always brown, these ones are. They're the only ones except for Bryant. Okay, now we got, this is a tandem. You get two single poles, they come in 15 or 20. And you can't use them in any space in your box, but you can use these if you need an extra space. This is a single pole. One pole, 15 amp. The, the amperage is always written on the handle of the breaker. Okay, that's a 15 amp. And you can see here, this clamps onto the bus by pinching itself on there and it holds onto the back by these clips right here. They just slide right in and punch right in and that's what puts the breaker in. Okay, that's Cutler Hamner. Cutler Hamner also makes one like this one. <clears throat> this is a Mary. This is the contractor brand, they call it. It's a home line. It's a fatter breaker than this one is, but, but Color Hamner makes one just like this also, and those breakers will fit just about anything. If you see on the back, okay, this is a, uh, uh, this is a Mary. Siemens, Mary, all of them are both the same. Okay, this is a Bryant. You can see right here, they got the same hooks right here to hook in the back of your box and they stab onto your bus. So this is just a, you see this one stabs on also. So these are interchangeable. All of uh, Bryant, which is these, Bryant, Bryant, they'll come, red is a 20 amp, blue is a 15. This is the two pole Bryant, it's orange. That's two 60 amp circuits. Okay, this is a Bryant ground fault. You see here, it's got your test button. 20 amp, you put your hot wire here, your neutral wire here, and then this neutral goes to your neutral bar in your panel box. Okay, these are all interchangeable. This is the two pole Siemens. Siemens and Mary about the same breaker exactly. You see the same hookup right here on the back that hooks into the back of your panel box. That slides onto your bus bar. They're pinchers. Okay, here's a good breaker, Square D. This is a good commercial breaker. You see this snaps on to the, to the back of the bar. These push on something like the Cutler Hamners do. All right, you see the Cutler Hamners do about the same thing. And these hook up differently. See these slide on, that snaps on. They don't interchange with anything, nor does the Cutler Hamner. These two don't interchange with anyone. They have to be in their own box. And see, this is a two pole, but it only has one handle. This is right here, this is a common trip to this breaker. So this is still a two pole breaker, although it only has one handle, okay? This is a single pole color hamner, a crawl of square D. Okay, square D, you see a little red flag in there? That tells you it's tripped. So if you look at your square D breaker and you see that red thing, you go, oh, it's tripped. So what you do is you turn it off, then turn it back on. You see the red flag's gone and your breaker's reset, okay? If it trips right back off, it's obvious you have a short somewhere. Okay, I showed you what it looked like tripped. QO is the name of this breaker, square D QO, in the little window, 15 amp. What QO stands for is quick off. That is a, it's a very good breaker, like I've said. Square D QO, Cutler Hammond and Tan one are my two favorites. This is an old breaker. This is an old GE breaker. It's common back in the 60s and 70s. Okay, this one you see it's got little pinchers that go on and it's got about the same hookup as the other ones do. Uh, the the, the uh, Bryant's and the Siemens, but it's still this doesn't fit what you're going to snap into with this breaker. So you see these, and this is a two pole, okay, 30 amp. Okay, this is a this is a tandem 
GE Slimline, and this is two 20, 20 amp circuits to this one. All right, that's a tandem, an old GE tandem. That's a Cutler Hamner tam tandem. I'm gonna get tongue tied trying to say all these things. This is a real curious breaker. It's got a side thing on it. You see, it's got a stop where it don't go in just anywhere because your panel box has to be large enough to, to hold it. Circuit you got. That's just a single pole, twenty. Okay. This is a real cute one. These are no longer in business. Been out of business for a long time. It's called Federal Pacific. They are. This is a two pole thirty, and this is a one pole twenty. These, they, they snap onto the back, and they got stabs that go down in the holes. These are no longer used. They're, they're, they were kind of outlawed and took out of business and sued. Challenger makes ones to fit it. I just give a guy a whole box of these things. They sell them online for like $2 an amp. So this would be a $60 breaker. <clears throat> but anyway, I just give them to a guy because I, I don't like to, I don't like them. But anyway, these are your different kinds of breakers. So they're all black just about, except for the handles. And if you have any troubles figuring out what kind you got, just look at it closely. But you always got to replace your breaker with the same breaker that comes out. Don't interchange unless it's a single pole, something like this, where it's a Mary and they actually fit. But never oversize the amperage of the breaker. Always keep the right amperage to keep fire hazards down. Okay, and although these breakers, Color Hammer, the uh, the Home Line, the Square D, the Home Line, the Murray, the Siemens, the Bryant, they all they're going to be all just alike, but they're going to have little things differently back here, and they don't fit the panel box exactly right. And the code is. A Bryant panel box, you've got to put Bryant breakers in it, and a Mary and a Siemens, you have to put their breakers in. Same with Cutler Hamner and Square D. So you don't you don't intermix your breakers. You always put the same size breaker and the same kind of breaker back in the same box. So I just wanted to share this with y'all. And if you have any questions, you can email us at naturesfriendsandembarkmail.com. And don't forget to like us and subscribe to us. Thank you.